just realize that it's really not so much training as what we as we hear. We're the ones. The human needs to be trained. The horses they just need the right feel and direction from you. Do you know what I mean? So that's kind of the message on on that one. Does anybody hand feed Maddie? <laughs> yeah. And I think do you hand feed your horse? Uh huh. Yeah, I can tell. Um, you don't hand feed. Just say yeah. Good answer. Yeah, if <laughs> maybe you do hand feed, stop it if you are. And Ron, I don't think you hand feed anymore. But let's just go over that real quick. If you hand feed, all right, it's called rewarding at variable intervals. So do you know, it's like, I always say it's like a slot machine. You know, you, you, you win once in a while, and that keeps people pulling the lever. Well, your horse is thinking, hey, you know what I do is I, oh, oh maybe you do hand feed. So the horse will lean in on you. <laughs> They'll lean in, get on their front legs. They're bearing in on you. They're leaning in. They're on their front end. And what they do is they think if they nudge you enough, poop, treat pops, magic, treat pops in their mouth. So they don't always understand why they get a treat, see? So what they do is they just do the behaviors that gets them the treat. And then when you don't want them to be mouthing you, they, they do, right? Makes sense? May I work with your horse first? Okay. Nice. I, I pretty much give everybody that speech automatically. Yeah. So now she's used to somebody operating close to her, isn't she? All right. So I'm just going to let her out and we'll explore a little bit. Notice she was licking and chewing there a little bit. That'll, that'll be meaningful. I'm telling her, just, just stay back. There, there, stay back. So wouldn't it be nice if any time you're riding or working on the ground and your horse started to freak out that you could establish a halt, right? So any, any time, just let her have a think there, um, any time your horse gets excited, if you could halt, wouldn't that be a nice feature to have? A safety, there we go, look at that, safety switch. Oh, now when I get further away from, from these horses, you'll see their head will come down because I'm giving them room. When we're always here all the time, we're in their space so much that they, they have a hard time with that. Notice when I lift, I'll lift up because in the saddle, we're going to lift up when we want to ride forward or back up. So you'll notice I get tall. So what I'll do is I'll say to her, stay put, stay where you're at, but it's really by lifting. And then... I'll step off to the side a little bit and get her coming forward. And then when I turn towards her, oh, she's starting to pick up on that. So it's really nice to have the horse square, nose between their shoulders. Well, I wasn't really on the ball there. See, and then she walked off. So when that nose comes past the shoulder, all of a sudden the mind leaves you and they walk off. So if I keep that nose between the shoulders when I'm in front, she'll be ready. If I get tall and step in, that would be back up, all right? And I'm going to walk off. There's a headlight. You didn't know it, but there's a headlight on your chest, and you can shine that headlight to where you'd like to go. So if I want to walk towards you, I shine the headlight towards you, but if I want to halt, shine it towards the horse. So she's picking up on that. So that allows me to get further away, which is fun for the horse, and the horse appreciates you being further away. So same, same thing. Now, she's not used to that back there. You know, she's, uh, she's like, well, I'm used to having, you know, having you right under my, my head or further back. Look at her ears and her, her expression. Now, notice when I step off to the side a little bit, do you see her cross the hind legs a little? So do you see that, how that, that right hind leg starts to step under? See that right there? And if I do it more uh, dramatically or more exaggerated here, watch that right hind leg step under, under, and I come forward, I turn, I halt, lift, back. Good. So do you see what we're establishing? Halt, walk forward, start up, cross your left hind leg. Now I'm just circling and arcing around. Halt, back. I'm almost done and then I'll let everybody else do it. I can now tell her, you stay where you're at. I have to watch her. I'm, I'm, I'm watching her. I'm looking at her expression, her eyes, her ears. 
And I'm saying, you stay where you're at. She's such a wild horse. There she goes. And oh, oh, that's great. So what'd you notice there? She's, she's like, say that again. Totally. Yeah. So I, it's not always about pushing. How many times have you heard the horse has to yield away from you? The horse has to move away from pressure, right? And this is true, but it's not all about that. Sometimes we're just so close to our horses, we're the ones that get, we're the ones that start close. So if I start further away, the horse goes, oh, I feel better. I can relax a little bit more. So then if I step to the side, she'll cross that left hind leg and come forward, good. Turn, halt.